Miss get it, missiles suck versus ice. I suck. just realized in an alternate reality, this would have been like losers quarters for like Aklo and Foxy, which is yeah, it unreal. very nearly happened. Yeah, that would have been unreal. So, I feel like I'm not sure of like how fluent Foxy is on this matchup, but like Foxy's definitely the favorite here, and King Grab ends around here up till yeah. This matchup is like actually sort of bullshit for her, uh, Pikachu. Because she has like very few options to beat like um she playing very uncommittally. However, like Bond has seen it all now, so like yeah. it's not a surprise if like Bond just like cracks the wall. I feel like it's one of those things where Pikachu players have gotten good at the Sheik matchup just to like because you you have to break through that wall at some point. Yeah, for you know? sure. Oh, you missed a shield drop uh, there too? Okay. The chain grab goes on for a little bit. Yeah. DI's but, off stage, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because then you're not taking much percent. It's, yeah. it's, it makes more sense, I think, than trying for the mix-up. Yeah, no, like, I don't think the mix-up thing is actually very good. No. Like, it's like, you have to just honor that they know. Yeah. Okay, no jump still. Oh, I think if he just grabbed ledge there, like, he would have been fine. Probably. Because I think the needle makes more sense if they have a jump, but if they don't have a jump, they are only forced to up B. Yep. And the nice thing about uh, Sheik, like, on the ledge in this matchup is that, like, Bear covers, like, almost everything if they're that low. Because, yeah. like, Pikachu's, like, her, her box becomes enormous. Okay, this goes to around, like, 30, around here, and now it stops. Up till now? Oh, no, it goes even no. longer. This is crazy. Yeah, I think, I, I want to say it's to, like, 50 or 60-ish. Yep. But that that could be very Okay, wrong. never mind. I'm out. <laughs> okay. See you again. All right. I've been abandoned again because all my co-commentators are better at the game than I am. Christ. Edge cancel, dare? That's actually a wild, like, 50% combo the dare again? Bond kind of moving, showing no fear on his last stock with such high percent. And really pushing Fox Grammar to the ledge, baiting out the shield and getting the grab. Wow, it's been all Bond, but now that is death. But, you know, good m momentum to have built at the end of that first game. That's what you want to see if you're in Bond's shoes. But I don't know, it's 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 tough. It's very tough. Because you kind of have to play like that the whole time. Oh my god. And you can see the grimace on Bond's face as he just immediately gets chain grabbed. Luckily he does not get the full chain grab, but then just gets grabbed again anyways. And this is probably going to go for a few more times, maybe one more. Oh, he went for it, but messed up. Did not get the turnaround. Bond gets a little reversal, gets like 10% off of that. Catches with the down smash. Oh my god, gets the- oh my god, what a no-impact land. Forder, not gonna kill Pikachu just yet, should be able to get back, but that gives Foxy strong center stage and just ducks under the nair. You can see the frustration growing on Bond's face. Can he pick it up and just gets grabbed again, because the crouch cancel goes forever. Doesn't get the full grab though, only gonna get about 20% off of it. But just finds another grab, Foxy just keeps Winning in neutral, and that's so, so bad for Pikachu in this situation. That should be it. No, gets another one. I think maybe could have gotten another one. I think you can re-grab DI out. I think it's, I think it's you DI, like, in past them, but don't quote me on that. Not a Pikachu player. Not a, not a same Sheik player either. I don't know shit. Oh, doesn't even need the Thunder. Just gets the kill raw. But we've still got a sizable deficit for this match, because it's like, what is... Oh my god! Wow! Okay. It's a strong 2%. Oh no. Bond's just getting mixed up all time. 
Ooh. Oh, but mixes up, goes in. The risk reward paying off in that instance. What a sneaky wave land onto that platform. But that's the problem. It's just not converting into much. And all these crouch cancels and these straight grabs. Foxy's just running away with it. Oh, God. This is definitely looking more frustrating than the aggro set was. Building. Building his way back through. We're just trying to go in and get something, but it's not working out. God. This is where the frustrations of the mid-tier start to come in because there are only so many neutral options you can pick. And Foxy just expertly calling all of them out. I'm just gonna DI out. Catches with the 30%, but every percent means so much. I don't see how Bond makes this game back, especially when everything can just be crouch canceled. Gets a spot dodge finally. I think spot dodges are what he's got to use to, to get around those grabs, but Foxy is placing them so well on these air and crouch cancels and just catches with the three stock. That is demoralizing. And now Bond needs to do to Foxy what Foxy's brother has just recently done to him. We're gonna take it to Yoshi's story, see if we can't make use of that lesser space to maybe get some quicker kills, but it's just, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be more grabs. The grabs have just been going wild. Gets, oh no, he got the spot dodge. He finally dodged one of the grabs, but gets an accidental light shield afterwards and just gets grabbed off of it. Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. But it's not looking too bad so far percent wise. Bond's just gotta Bond's just gotta do more of that. Gotta couch catch Foxy out with these with these down airs. I don't feel like the nairs are really working out the way that they should be. You gotta kinda go high and hit him with the hard stuff. Because Nair is just too crouch cancelable. Oh, the accidental F smash providing a bit of space for Bond to work, but more tech flubs. Foxy sharking him underneath the platforms, keeping center stage. Just running in with the down tilt. Oh my god, I think he got a bit too schmooved. He got a bit too schmooved up in his schmoop. Alright. Bonds got a lead. But also getting grabbed doesn't get the chain grab, but then I feel like every time, even when Foxy drops the chain grab, he just finds a way to get another grab. And it's so frustrating on Bond's part. He's mashing for his life. He's been grabbed 30 times in this set so far. Oh no. Oh no. This is... This is so sad. Why do they let bad things happen to good characters? Let me rephrase that. Why do they let bad things happen to middling characters? But wait a minute. Wait a minute. What a strong punish off of that opening. And that puts Bond back in it. You can see Bond hanging out near the ledge, trying to look for a little bit of that cheese, but ends up just throwing out a down smash in the mid stage. Oh, gets catches the slide off, but it's not going to do anything because he doesn't get the emergency angle off the up B. Bond on his last stock. What is happening? I don't know what's happening. This is... Um, uh, 